What's happening people? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to the vlog of Dirty Whips. Today is the day that we're gonna be installing my gear booth. This needs to be replaced. You guys already know this is old and rusty. And my e-brake booth. I'm gonna have to change both these. So this and this needs to be replaced. And obviously, see? Yeah, I could shift without my gear knob. Alright, we're gonna have to change my gear knob as well. Alright, so... Without wasting any time, let's get into it. Alright, so before I get started, what to do is actually a pretty good, easy job. It won't take that long, it'll be done pretty quick. And uh, before I start, I uh, just want to show you how I ordered this one with the red and blue stitch and the white stitch on the side. And uh, I got both of the boots and uh, the gear knob, shifting knob. I'm going to take it out and show you guys. But got these all three in leather. Uh, with stitchings on it, I got them for like uh, 11 dollars actually they're pretty cheap on Amazon and I'll link it in the description if you guys want to buy the same thing but yeah so if you guys want to do your gear now first obviously you pull this out mine's actually broken the clips are broken you can see inside but if yours aren't broken you're gonna have to use both of the hands and just pull it out like that and trash and this this one is actually pretty easy too you just push it from the side as you can see see has clips clips trash and that goes away so you just pull this out it's actually pretty easy to put the camera down and show you guys all right so it looks like mine's actually glued on there see as i pull it off there's no clips nothing you just take it off just like that or glued or it's been too hot and like i don't know it's gone bad down to it so yes yeah all old and nasty Take that shit off. Alright, so that's trash. Sorry my car is too dirty. Don't mind my dirty car. So yeah, this goes back on. And let's get the new ones out. It's actually an easy job. It's actually pretty easy and like quick job. So Alright, see? These are actually pretty nice. New leather gives the car a better, uh, whole, whole better look. And... It has a rubber, so you can stretch it and put it on there. Well, this is going to be hard. Alright, let me, let me do that off camera because I might drop my camera doing this. Give me a second. Alright guys, I got this on. It took me a while, but it's on. And... It's actually just the regular leather, but the stitching is not that great because like you could already see it's like pretty stretched out. I don't know if it's going to stay long, but I don't care because I'm going to be changing this pretty soon. I'm going to be getting the other, uh, the what is it called, the gear sh uh, short shifter. I'm going to change this and get a better one. This is like too much free play movement. You can see it. See, it's pretty bad. Yeah. But yeah, see, the, you can see that the, there's like stitching. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but like it's all stretched. But yeah. It fits actually pretty nice. Now once it's on, and then you just throw it back on. They're like, like just like that. The clips go in. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> that's on. And once this is in, you just pull it down like that. It already looks good. And then you just grab your gear knob. Get it out of this thing. And make sure it's on the right, facing right. And just okay. Fuck. Ah, shit. I messed up already. <laughs> it's actually look. It looks pretty good, but I kind of like made it messed up already because it's going like facing this way. It's supposed to be straight. Don't do that. All right, guys. That already looks pretty good, and it's already snuck in. And you just pull it up to give it a nice look. This thing was like ten dollars, so I'm not complaining too much. But it looks pretty good. And uh, the shifter has gone smaller because, uh, or let me find my old shifter, I can't see it. Oh, there it is. As you can tell, this was long. Like, see that? That was long. And this is like really short, so this would like stick up right here. So, yeah. It's already feeling pretty better, but I'm gonna change this too. I'm gonna go with the short shifter. Alright, so for this, for this, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. You put it in right here from the bottom. 
there's like two clips it comes off like that there's two clips on the bottom too right here but uh it's easier to do it from the back because like the ones in the front are pain in the ass and you just pull it up like this all the way then you see this right here that's actually the zip tie so you just cut it and you put a new zip tie on and this comes off and you install the new one in on these clips all right i'm gonna do that real quick Alright guys, see it actually looks pretty amazing, but like I said, it's not the best quality, For it was like $10, so not bad, I'm not that complaining, but yeah, I could have had better one, next one I'm going to probably go with the Argentura, but yeah, this was the cheapest ones, and that looks actually pretty amazing, not going to lie, my car is pretty nasty, so yeah, with my car, it looks pretty good, alright, so that's it for today's installment video this is it and uh, i got a lot more stuff coming in for the e46 i got a new wheel coming in pretty soon and uh, i might have a turbo coming in pretty soon for this thing i'm not sure if i talked about this car for a while there's not much that i've done to the car ever since i got it it's just the halos basically uh, i got these from off uh, i think amazon and the booth was actually from amazon as well and the car actually looks the way it was already and that these actually changed lights and stuff blue purple and they flash and they slow down and they go down down they go back to red sorry you guys i haven't been making videos and uh this was actually a pretty short video all right there see my face this was actually a pretty short video and uh, this is it for today's video. I got a lot more coming in. Uh, like I said, I might be uh, coming in with the turbo on this thing and the turbo might be coming in pretty soon. And then obviously the interior is going to be all redone. I'm going to be getting new rims on this thing pretty soon. And about the Alpha, Alpha might be, uh, <laughs> there's more stuff coming up on the Alpha too. You guys already know the Alpha is tuned. We're still trying to figure out the button. Why wouldn't it uh, turn off the traction control? And, uh, for the F30, I'll give you guys a little secret out that F30 my cousin has that's coming out with the turbo too. But I haven't told you guys yet that I've sold my F30 already. My F30 has been gone and it's been like a month already. That's why I'm making videos. But yeah, you guys see it right here. That's my memories of the F30. <laughs> Alright guys, well this is for today's video. Uh, I'll be back with another video pretty soon. But I just gotta figure it out, get my shit together, and uh, since I don't have F30, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this car so I can make more uh, videos for you guys. And uh, yeah, like I said, my cousin's F30 is gonna be on my channel, so don't worry about my F30 is gone, because my F30 was slow as it, anyways. 
and uh, I got the E46. E46 is gonna get a turbo pretty soon. And I got the Alpha. Alpha is tuned. We're gonna do a lot more stuff to the Alpha. I don't know. Maybe we'll. I don't know. Turbo upgrade the Alpha too. I don't know yet. We're still trying to figure out the button yet because I wanna. We're more into drifting than going fast. So yeah, this is it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share my video. Peace out.